Hello there. I am Daniel from Analytics Plus. Creating a chart is one of the first things that you'll be doing in Analytics Plus. This video should help you get started. I'm going to create a chart using the table request. So let's click that. Click the create button. You will see options to create different types of views. Let's stick to chart view for this video. This is the canvas that you'll be using to build the chart. On the left, you have a list of columns from the request table. I have columns like request ID, responded time, mode, etc. I'll drag and drop these columns to different sections on the right hand side to build my chart. I'll explain the options on the right as and when I build the chart. It's easier that way. Okay, so let's say I want to see the trend of incoming requests. I'll pick the create a time column and drop it into the x axis. I have a few options with the date fields as you can see on this drop down. Using these options, I can look at the ticket inflow trend on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, yearly basis, or based on any of the other options here. A monthly trend is what I'm looking for, so I'll stick with month and year. Now on to the y-axis. I'll drop the request ID column here. I don't really want the sum of request IDs, but I want a count of request IDs per month. I'll use the count option from the dropdown. I think I have the basic components to generate this chart. So I'll click this button, click here to generate graph. And there you go. I have a chart showing me the incoming request trend. The application has chosen a line graph visualization, but I have the option to choose different visualizations from this list. Some of the options highlight automatically based on the data that I'm trying to represent. I'll change this to a bar chart to show you how this works. Now let's say I want to add more detail onto this report. Say I want to know the mode through which the requests were raised. I'll drop the mode column in the color section and you can see how this changes the chart. Each of these colors represent the mode through which the request was raised. Red for email, green for phone call and blue for web form. Let me also add the request count to this view and make it easier to read. I have data starting from May 2017 up until August 2018. I want to filter out the data and make the graph only display stats for the last 12 months. I'll use the create a time column in the filter section, change the date field to relative column, choose month, look for last 12 months range. Doesn't look like I have that readily available, so I'll just add a new range and save that configuration. If I wish to let users apply more filters when they view this report, I can drop columns to the user filters section. These user filters can be any columns that I have on the request table. For example, I'll just drop the site column here so the users can filter the data based on the location where the request came from. It looks like I have what I need. Let's save it and give it a name. I'm going to call it incoming request. I can save this report in a new folder or in any pre-existing folder. I'm going to leave it at the default option. Click OK. So that completes this video on how to create a new chart view. Please write to analytics plus support at managingengine.com if you have any questions. This is Daniel from Analytics Plus and thank you for watching.